Yo, um, cool. Kent Langeveld from Mitchell's Play in Cape Town on the Cape Lads. No, Cape Lads is in Cape Town. Um, yeah, I'm a skateboarder, skateboard shaper, owner at alphalongboards.com. Um, we custom shape longboards, skateboards. I've been skateboarding for 18 years, um, making boards for 12. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Um, yeah, it's mainly just pushing the skateboarder lifestyle. Um, kind of tying it in with many other urban subcultures, you know, just realizing that there's a really big connection. Like skateboarding and and and, and hip hop have always gone hand in hand since day one. So it's quite easy for me to to be into hip hop. I don't call myself a hip hop head, but just to be into hip hop because I skate, you know. Um, and then I'm also a photographer, um, mainly urban subculture documentation. I run a brand called No ID Photography. No ID because I like photographing those that in mainstream society don't have an identity, like graffiti artists, skateboarders, you know. Um, and it's not just because mainstream society doesn't give us an identity, sometimes we don't want to have an identity, you know. Um, and then also just as, and then part of it's also, like the flip of it is also like me photographing these cats is my affirmation to them because generally we are looked down upon, you know, I and mean, even as skateboarders, you know, we consider the scourge of society. Um, so, me photographing these cats is also my affirmation to you that, you know, like what you're doing is right, what you're doing is dope, and these people who make the effort into what you're doing and want to be part of it. Um, what hip hop used to mean, my community, you know, like I've, I've been having this, this conversation a lot lately about what hip hop is, you know, and funny enough, you know, like hip hop to me isn't like before there was a music of hip-hop, before there was the movement of hip-hop, you know, there was people struggling. And to me that's, that's hip-hop, because that's what, what hip-hop as you know it uh, was born out of, you know. I mean, like I look at my grandmother and she lives like a hip-hop lifestyle, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Suffering in the poverty, you know. Cats in District 6 were living the hip-hop lifestyle, you know, and like, people were, were making music about it and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, so I definitely see it more as like a mindset, you know, like as a lifestyle, you know. And and like I see kids living hip hop as we know it um, on the Cape Flats every day, you know. Like even though they don't, they don't attach themselves to that label of hip hop. So yeah, so it's definitely um, and like yeah, yeah, like more than anything, like it's a movement for, well, in my mind, it's a movement for upliftment, you know. Like not necessarily as a group, but also just for you to have faith that things are gonna work out, for you to wanna make things better for you to look at the injustice, you know, like not only by like powers, but also the, the, the injustices that we bestow upon each other, neighbor to neighbor, you know. To me, that's, that, that's hip hop and like the awareness of, um, to me is hip hop. Um, so yeah, and I mean, like kind of fast forwarding to what we consider hip hop to be and like what is happening on the Cape Flats, and by like hip hop practitioners on the Cape Flats. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, if things are, when guys are doing stuff, cool, guys are aware, sometimes they kind of lose a plot, you know, they always think that they should be chilling with a big beer, you know, in a bit of a crouching position. Um, so, so many times, like, like locally, I just find that guys are sometimes misdirected. And, you know, like, also, you also can't blame people, you know, like, what we get fed now by MTV and all those things about what music is and about what hip-hop is and what you should be as a hip-hop artist, you know, is, is, is this image. Um, but in general, hip hop in my community is exciting, it's dope. It's being loved every day, you know. The guy selling fruit, he's loving hip hop, <laughs> you know. Um, and luckily, we are blessed to come from a, from a culture of music, you know. A culture of sound. You know, like if you go on the Cape Flats, kids love kicking boxes and cans and the stuff just to hear that sound. And that's where music comes from, you know, and that's, you, know, that's, you can hear it a lot. Um, and yeah, even just the way we talk, you know, like the Cape Flats dialect has this kind of the sound and this music to it, and the highs and the lows of it, and that has directly gone into, into what hip hop artists are using, the local guys, and that's awesome. So yeah, so my take on hip hop is that, and like, it's exciting, it's dope, and guys are making things happen, yeah.